Joma giti kana na wa chao machalman. Tin Yorom sub county kai na na ngi ba kwa mamewa. Wati Yorom sub county kamalu member member parliament mati yachori. Dote na wiki kumu dep mai sub county mati Yorom Yorom is kiteng kachiri ni anima ni la mukora. Gendu jigu tore kai malu peki kachoka mati ma na member member parliament demon abe lili anibu. Abu eni chetu tole mene ni wanyi kum wanyi pa kwa mojo. Kacil di Jumaat di South Sudan, kita tak boleh kumpul dalam forum itu. Net tiga tim me, wo tiga tim me, kita yang mahu tiga tim me, kita kau menyuruh mati orang South County. Kacil di South County semua kena mahu. Peru ni kan, Peru mahu kena bermati ane. Peru memilih, makum beru aku. Gaya mahu beru aku, gaya mahu aku. Kena cama, dia nak kiri kum. Dia mahu kena mahu forum. Wah, urid dar peti kau beru, urid mahu aku. We are going to be in Parliament to call my family to be able to come to the parliamentary group that is Rick Richard. We are going to be in Parliament to call John Amos. We are going to be in Parliament to call Gulu, Ujara Martin Mabeduzi. We are going to be in Ulanya Gilbert. We are going to be in Honorable Abey Lillian. We are going to be in Parliament to call Magin Kubion Katoro Chingi to be in Parliament to call Gulu. Meto orochinge mene pero makumbi tika yelo luamati i Romsa County ino lagam maromo joko ne pematwal maki ne roko padar mati Romsa County tualeti ni kamente otenyegi na ta mo imagi kelogi we opony kime luani kom kormo jong kachilgi le mati gakany barak smalu akumati i Romsa County geta mno miare gichwal juna kuberiye. Mwen pedi gachiriye, mwen dokiti barak ma choki tengang, ma irni chwe chwe madir mada ma wongkom me Romsa County bergi kero me nyu me kamaleng. Anu wiki kwe muke na muru musa Romsa County, kiti kwa jeni miro kai na mwen eni pedo romo bergi kero me guagogi nyu me chiri kamo me argin kuberiye tuera gameto kwa mwen eni nawa. Dok lega kwe muke na mati eni miro kiti kanta mene miro katuere. Omi argi mi muduru diching lutiano ma megi nyu nyu ma megi ma yang kongu bergi muduru wa oloto joko arani pa kwa romajo eno kila kio weng meda kila mo nyupi dia so duru kima tekti ene mene ni mero lutiano ma megi gine dongi kero gime ya muduru chingi wa kini mene kiyue gitim arani matie wati kichoj ma pol ma megi ma giti romsa county giti kanyo gichoe chu ma megi ini muwele matie ni. Inga diki amana na kwa ni wana bikiendi loko pa lomwe ame parliament, magenu loko kachele kwa kama beach maki kwenye sulo kwa government, ngoa magenu waje kanzla zima maki, mene malo bage arani mati. Watu bana kido diro dini, magenu biro, inga diki amana na kwa wana bikiendi loko kama maki, iramu loa e YouTube, abla TV, wake bergi ngech, ingoa madai tume iram sabanti, kama duki chenye boto. What I've seen from our movement, right from Agago, Kidgum, Lamor, and Amor, what I've witnessed is that government is not interested for the Acholi community to be in peace. There is an intentional move by the government to disorganize the Acholi community. And I'm telling you, the issue of Karamojong is not Karamojong as per se. There are some group of people who are conniving to pretend like Karamojong to loot the Acholi, to let the Acholi people never be in peace. As members of parliament, we cannot sit back and see our people being fooled. Yesterday, but one, we got the information from the army, army commander here claiming that they have arrested more than 300 youth, that they have recovered more than 700 heads of cattle. And where are those heads of cattle? So there is an intentional move to disorganize the actual community. Right now here in Rome, there are two important issues, Karamajong and elephant. Ana po ane o chen kele men. Gin ma chwe ane o yake kom liya chen ni. Liya chwe mwa kali bari o kapara bi chen liya chako chako kany. Ni o gwa tin liya chika yele wa endo chwa lo kogone kwe pe winye vod gamente. Mwa kaya ni ni dong. Ali bari o piyari o chel. Paka digi ma yedong chiro kwa kwa nyimi. Liya chika yele wa paka. Ma liya chwa balo jemi wa. Kwa nye menepe. Ginu menepe. Miyo wa benepe. 
What is a cock about the man and a coin? And the man, why anyone for neck yet? And the one been a year for neck. For elephants, it's very simple. If Uganda Wildlife Authority cannot take care, cannot control the movement of the elephants, as a member of parliament, we are calling upon the people to kill the elephants and destroy all the animals that are encroaching and destroying their crops. And, and the situation is not okay. There are many people who have lost their lives. There are lots of animals that have been raided, close to a thousand herds of cattle. Uh, goats and sheep and a lot of animals have been raided. But the other, the other thing which is extremely disturbing is the continuous uh, attack on innocent people. Raping women in the garden, killing people, burning their houses. This, this is going on. Areni pa lukara mojong magin aki utido kachel kibabong kumegiti na chikele yelo totu ali subcounty mamega Magi na gitika timu na matek malo dushu gine ro dano gia ro dini wa gia ro digi grapping monwa si gine matika tima ene ne chake anyuali matek warwa ne o tin tijare nyo ni karamo jong tika tiu kare ke kare tin loge ni karamo jong miro ni wano bela chan ma pe wa tiki diang mo pe ben wa tiki diel mo dog ben wa bet pe kimon pen wa monwa weng gine miro ni kwanye chet pen. It's extremely painful. It is as if they are not in, in Uganda. This, these, are, these are our own citizens who deserve to be protected. They deserve to live in safety and dignity. But what they are going through is, is, is unbearable. And so as leaders, we are here. We have got their views. We are going back to parliament and we want to bring this matter uh, and, and engage government so that um, you know, immediate intervention is needed. We, we need to have our people protected from these cutlers, I mean cattle, cattle rustlers. But we also need their properties to be protected. The other problem we have found is uh, the rampant cases of invasion by uh, the wildlife. There are cases of elephants coming from the national park, Hidebo, and invading the villages, destroying crops and destroying a lot of things. <laughs> Pegging <laughs> Uh, it is true, I even went there, uh, that, one, that one is a case in uh, Pugoda uh, East, where... And people have lost, and you can imagine this is a critical period when people should be productively involved, uh, in, in different agricultural activities, but they are not being given the opportunity as a result, uh, you know, of the uh, continuous invasion by, by the wildlife. So we want to engage uh, Uganda Wildlife Authority, but we also want to engage government. And there must be a solution. There must be an immediate, you know, engagement, immediate solution. There, there are ways that this can be sorted out. For example, uh, fencing, the, the, you know, the, the live wire fencing, uh, this, this needs to be done as, as, as soon as possible. But also, there's need for government to consider compensating the families who have uh, lost their properties, who have lost their crops. There's also need for government to compensate the families who have lost their dear ones. And we need to have, have frank discussion with government in, in as far as, I mean, in, in as far as this is concerned. Because if we don't take deliberate actions now, I don't think it will be uh, okay for us to consider the people of Rome as part of this country. So that's, that's majorly why we are here. And uh, in the next few days, we'll be having a major meeting as a Chile parliamentary uh, group to chat away from. It's very sad to listen to what is going on from the communities. It's very disappointing. It's really sad that we have lost quite a number of you know, people 
and we don't know what next is going to be done because we have raised these matters on the floor of parliament we have talked about it we have raised it i don't know what else we need to be done needs to be done it's really my appeal that we need to change the strategy the security team must change the strategy the community are complaining about the response you know the the, the, the slowness the response that they call the security personnel and they don't respond on time. They're also talking about the need to open up the security roads. They're also noting the need to, you know, recruit the local people because they feel like we, they need to be part of these operations. Only the, 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 the soldiers might not do enough. They need to be part of the, the solution because they believe they know where these Karamajongs hide, where they assemble their things and where they, they normally launch their operations from. So they want to be part of this. We have promised our people we need a robust approach. We need something to be done right now. We can no longer take it. People are dying. Every day you are receiving information of someone has been killed. A woman has been raped. Imagine a pregnant woman being raped. If you're a woman, you can feel this. For how long shall we just be talking about this? I think enough is enough. We need to find solution, the lasting solution to this torture our people are going through. We all know how much the people of Acholi have suffered. Through the, the, the time that they had the, the, the 20 years of being in insurgency, and then today again, this community is still going through this. It's really traumatizing. For me, as someone who actually hails from this same uh, sub county, I feel very disturbed. My mother stays here. Every time you receive calls at night, 2 a.m., so and so has been killed. My husband cannot sleep in the house, and the men here are actually sleeping outside in the bush. Because we sleep in the house, they will just light fire and burn your grass touched house, and the next time, you hear someone has been butchered, it's really painful. I think it is enough. We need to find a lasting the, the, the challenge of elephants invading the gardens. The people of Acholi are absolutely working, hard working people. But after working hard, when you are about to harvest the crops, you will realize that elephants out of the blue destroyed you know gardens, hectares and hectares of land. So if you try to, you know, go into dialogue with the UWA officers. They will tell you this place is a cattle corridor. But I really don't understand why they would say where the community have lived. They have lived here for, for centuries. And then we are calling it a cattle corridor? Okay, if it is a cattle corridor, by whatever reasons they may say. Then we need to know that human beings are settled here. So we must find solutions to addressing this. We need to find a way to fence off the park. Otherwise, we don't actually feel that we need the park near our people here. Because life first, you can give, you can make the life of an animal more important than the life of a human being. So we really don't want to listen to the fact that this is a cattle corridor. We want to listen to what is the plan that Ua is having to fence off this place or to stop the animal invasion. Otherwise, our people are going to say enough is enough, and the next time you'll see them, they will start killing these animals. My purpose of coming here today is on the issues of the elephants invasion of the area of Rome sub county uh, about 6,699 families have been affected their gardens have been destroyed by the elephants which had been a continuous uh, problem of the people of Rome especially in the area of Gule parish Lulua parish and uh, Lunganyora Parish. Last year we had a similar problem. We are actually having it continuously. Though some years back, Parliament of Uganda came out with a suggestion and the solution was made as long term to uh, fence the areas that the animals normally come through or dig the holes which had been in other parts not in Kidepo specifically. I am also requesting the government or parliament of Uganda to increase the budget of OWA so that uh, as they will be planning to, to, to dig the holes that could prevent the animals from crossing to, to, to the people it would be done. I'm also asking parliament of Uganda to increase the money so that the fence the, the fence that could be uh, uh, planted along the side that the animals are found of coming through could be done so that our people could also be like other people. We As the Chole parliamentary group, we have decided to jointly move together to come out 
in a Chile sub-region to do a fact-finding mission on what is exactly the cause of the Karamojong cattle rustlings in a Chile sub-region. A lot of things has come out. Among the things that have come out, we have been reliably informed that the government seems not to be having goodwill in making sure that the cattle rustlings in Acholi sub-region is put to an end. It is very unfortunate that so far a lot of people have died, a lot of cows has been taken away. The simple facts we have noticed is that it seems there is some connivance. There is connivance between the army, the soldiers, who are supposed to protect the people with the raiders. It beats logic to hear that the raiders would come, attack the people, kill even people, they carry our cows, then they go scot free. It's very unfortunate. There is no way cows can leave the borders of Acholi if we have soldiers ready to protect, to protect the people. As members of parliament from Acholi sub-region, we have decided that the government should think wise enough to bring the commanders of these military forces, to put the commanders of these military forces to beat the people from Acholi. Put the children of Acholi, the people who knows that if they don't protect the people, their cows will be taken. The people understand that if they don't protect the people, their children, their fathers and mothers will be killed. We need first of all the commanders to be the people from Acholi who understand the roots of how the Karamojong moves. Secondly, as the people of Acholi, we have died enough, right from 1985, when the government of Kilo Titulo Tua was overthrown up, up, up to now. Killing has been in Acholi, suffering has been in Acholi. It came to Ali Lakwena, suffering. It came to Severino Lokoya, people of Acholi have been suffering. It came to Joseph Cohn until of late in 2009. The gun is silent in Acholi, but the war of poverty, the war of cattle rationing is still taking place in Acholi. So we have decided as a Acholi parliamentary group that we have come together to tell the government that enough is enough. And after this facts finding, we shall give the government one week. We go back to parliament and give the government one week ultimatum. The government should come clearly and tell us where do the Karamojong get guns from? We need to know where does the gun come from? We have been told that the cattle that are being taken from our region are sold in some of the markets in Kotido, in Kanawat on Wednesday, in Kokorio on Saturday. So we need our people to have peace. So the government should come clearly and tell our people whether the people of Acholi are not worth to live in this country, so that we know as members of parliament. So we shall give the government a one week ultimatum to clearly come out and tell the people what really we need to do. Otherwise, we shall mobilize our local people, our youth, to take the laws in their hands. We shall mobilize our local people to take any action possible to protect the, the, the territorial boundary of Acholi, whether using whether by using bows and arrows, we will encourage them to do that. If the government has failed, the government should come clearly and tell us. If they have failed, we mobilize our people to protect the territorial boundary of Acholi. Thank you so much. Very many people have been raped, very many people have been killed, very many animals have been raided without any proper accountability from the government UPDF soldiers to the extent that people have lost hope into the protection that is coming from the UPDF. Above all also, the wildlife authorities, the people of wildlife authority, they are trying to force this place to be a corridor for elephants. This is not a corridor for elephants. This idea by saying that this place belongs to elephants, to wild animals, it is a mockery to our people. Who gave you that permission? Who gazetted this place to be a place for wild animals? Nobody. Therefore, we have seen, we have witnessed 
people have talked about it, that the local problems can only be solved by the local solution. A local solution in this particular point is just to arm our people. These people call these warriors, the bandits, who come in the name of five, tens, twenty. Whenever when they arrive, they split into smaller, smaller groups and they attack people in different villages. Soldiers don't work in diversory way. They work in a group. But these people of ours in different parishes, the reserve force, these people who have retired from the army, we arm them. Let us empower them. Let us give them the strength. Let us supervise them. Let us give them the encouragement so that at the end, they handle these local issues from these Karmajan people. It is true we are talking about the security roads. This security road can open, but after opening, may not even solve our problem. Remember, we are struggling. People are now in a displaced camp because their animals cannot stay in their homes. You have to drive the animals as early as, as 4 p.m. The animal has to be in the kraal. Then as early as something like 7 or 8 a.m. in the morning, then you drive the animals. This IDP comes and come men, which is now putting our people to this level. These are human, human beings who deserve the rights, who deserve the rights to own their places, to live in their places. Now, if you want to put them in a camp, to live with their animals in a camp, in a protected place, we are now beyond this kind of level of years. In this 21st century, again, to be in IDP camp in your own country with a well-established government, no, it is unacceptable. There is all the mandates. The Uganda Wildlife Authority are plain. They can drive this elephant within no, no seconds. They should not allow the elephant to come here. They should drive the animals away from these places. Number two, we have different methods of stopping elephants from coming, like erecting electric wire fence, like creating a hole, creating a furrow, creating a channel which can stop this elephant from this coming from Kedebo to our area. Why don't they use a excavator? They dig round the park so that it can contain the elephants in those areas. Number two, or number three, why can't they use maybe this natural way of stopping elephants like using the bay ice, using the camelard, the red peppers? You cultivate it in Kedepo, cultivate it in those places so that it scares those elephants from coming to our places. This is another way that we can stop them. Otherwise, where it is rich, they want to eat you. They are going to kill the elephants and don't disturb them because you cannot see your children starving because elephants are destroying the crops. They are going to kill it and do not come and arrest them because you have stopped, you have failed to stop these animals. The Karmojong's warriors who are coming, we don't attack them. They should have this in their mind. They are going beyond the level now we are trying to face. Where we have reached now, it is beyond. It is beyond. These small bandits that the government can stop, intensify your operation, stop them, change their minds, give